Revelations of the Young and the Restless. This week, fans are focusing on Ashland and Kyle's fight, and they've officially started. Ashland was planning to return to Genoa City, however, under the guise of a business meeting, Kyle was ready for the first fight of his life. Kyle regretted sleeping with Tara, drunk, but it wasn't love, temporary feelings, and the two were out of control. In a preview for next week, we see Ashlyn go straight out and ask, have you slept with my wife? How do you think Kyle would respond? How is he going to explain this? If his answer is wrong, Kyle will probably take a shot from Ashland. Ashland is ready for any question. The fact that Harrison is not his kid makes him sleepless, angry, and constantly thinking about it. I hope this is the moment for when Kyle stepped up and took responsibility for what happened. Kyle has grown up, and he needs to be responsible for all that he does and done. Take your stance and tell him, Kyle. Every mistake has a solution. I think Kyle will fail against Ashlyn this time, but I think it's also a good lesson. Ashlyn will teach Kyle what it means to be a grown man. There's some information that Kyle will take back Harrison's rights. The boy will no longer live with Ashlyn because he is not the biological father. But will Tara agree? How long will this lawsuit last? Ashland and Tara get divorced sooner or later. She dares not live with such a man anymore. He had been violent before. Now, after learning that she cheated, she would be beaten even more brutally. After the divorce, whether Kyle will be responsible for what happened, will he marry Tara and live with Harrison as a family? It was reported that Kyle promised Tara that he would marry her, but it took him time to explain to Summer. Kyle wanted to take responsibility for his son, but should she do the same? Summer has sacrificed a lot for Kyle, and she deserves his love, but now he's responsible for his son, and he has to marry Tara. Well, this is uh, quite the unimaginable plot. Summer will be betrayed, and Kyle, I guess, is the bad guy. But what do you guys think? Will Kyle play silly with Ashland, or will he hold his ground against the giant corporation and the myth of the Loch Ness Monster? Let us know in the comments below.